Chapter 6. Flash and Roca, after escaping from the arena and while frantic search was being made for them, ambushed two guards and disguised in their uniforms, returned to Ming's palace and rescued Dale and Zarkon. After a further encounter with guards and a hazardous mid-air rescue of Roca from a burning ship, Flash and his party are congratulating themselves on escaping in one of Ming's ships when suddenly an approaching Baron ship opens fire on them. Flash, realizing Baron is mistaking them for his enemy Ming, tries desperately to signal Baron's ship, but... He is preparing another terrible weapon to destroy the world. We must return at once to your palace and prepare to combat it. Stand off the main ship! time to fashion six zeltonilium projectiles. All work has to be done in complete vacuum, sire. The smallest amount of oxygen touching that metal would have ignited it and burned it alive. Your Majesty means to attack the Earth at once? No, we will first test the projectiles on Prince Baron's kingdom of Aboria. Aboria, sire? The Aborian forests are the source of all the fine timber in Mongol. One projectile yes, dropped yes, there. Yes, yes, I understand, I understand. The projectile will only be dropped in the Baron's sections of Aboria. The Prince will have warning to watch their effect and contemplate what will happen in case I direct them against his palace. Your pardon, sire, but surely you don't mean to destroy Aboria. Why, the Princess Aura, your daughter, is there, and... My erring daughter deserves no consideration. However, I suppose she must be removed. You're keeping secret communication with my daughter's attendant, Lady Sonia? Yes, sire, by means of the verse. Good. I'll give you a message for her. We should have come, Sonia. You know, Prince Baron and his friends are on a dangerous mission. I think I should have stayed at the castle. <laughs> Your Highness becomes too domesticated. If men will go and fight, there's no reason why we should mope at home. of the means at my command to punish your allegiance to my enemies, the Earthmen. When you see your wastelands burn, think what will happen to your castle and your forest. He means to use Zotronillium, the fire metal against Arboria. How long before you can complete your defense, Doctor? Well, thanks to the years spent by Professor Carm in developing his contra-thermal defense theory, I can complete the machine to dispense it in a day, perhaps two. At least two. There'll be enough time, Doctor. I know my crafty father-in-law. He's bluffing. He wouldn't dare attack our boy while his daughter is here. Prince Baron! Your Highness! The Princess Aura has just been abducted by soldiers of Ming. The Lady Sonia led us into an ambush. I did what I could, but my position at once. Go ahead with the cut thermal machine, Doctor. Don't worry, Baron. We'll help you and Aura out of this mess. Somehow. When you and your husband, Prince Baron, chose to ally yourself with the Earthmen, you became my enemy and must take the consequences. You dare to tamper with my attendants, to send this slinking cat Sonia to worm her way into my confidence. And you, Captain Torch, you bloody-handed murderer, to lay hands upon royalty. Mark my words, you two shall pay for this when Prince Baron and Flash Gordon... Yes, I'll 
We have intercepted a radio message from Prince Baron to his patrol ship. Yes? All patrol ships. The Emperor Ming is about to attempt destruction of Arborea by means of fiery projectiles. Dr. Zorkov has devised means of counteracting this murderous attack. Inform me at once location of any of these projectiles, and steps will be taken to extinguish fire. Signed, Baron. There's the answer to your threat. The Earth men have beaten you once. They'll beat you again. Take her to the women's quarters. Sonia, Sarge. Sire. Your Majesty. You have done well and will be rewarded. But I have another task for you. We are ready, sir. Whatever means Zarkov has of extinguishing our projectiles must be carried to the spot of conflagration. Information as to location must come from Baron's laboratory. Now you are to proceed at once to Arborio, destroy Prince Baron's radio station, thus preventing these messages from being sent. It shall be done, sir. and get this clear, for all our lives may depend upon it. You know I've got to sit here and direct you where the projectiles fall. Go ahead, Doc. By turning this dial, you will envelop your ship with contrathermal waves that will protect you from the extreme heat. I see. One of these units must be placed by you close to Ming's projectile when it falls. Dale understands how to protect you while you accomplish this. Ronald will run the ship. Thank you, sir. We'll go and get ready, Doc. All right, men. Get these instruments down to the ship. Back, Gordon, calling Prince Baron. It's probable Ming is aware of what we're doing and will attempt to prevent us sending word to Flash. I have anticipated that, Your Highness. Patrol ships are in the vicinity and will attack any Ming ship that approaches. Thanks, Gordon. Calling Prince Baron. Thanks, Gordon. Calling Prince Baron. Yes, Flash? We're over the quarter in Wakeland, Baron. Ready for action. No sign of enemy activity. Maintain your present circuit. Dr. Zarkov will give you the exact information the moment the projectile strikes. Good. We'll be ready. The projector is ready to be fired, Your Majesty. Has the range been calculated? Yes, sir. The dial readings are 16, 44, 336. We'll alter the range every 20 minutes. determination to conquer the universe. I'll get flashed. Yes, Doctor, we saw it and fell in fast. I got it. 30 miles due west from here. First projectile, 30 miles due west from here. Change of course accordingly. Yes, sir. I'll get the fire soon. Thank you. 
thermal wave. After all, this wasteland is no badger. Unless that blaze extinguished, it'll burn up all the oxygen in the air. Stifle thousands of people, Ronald. I must go. I know you can do it, Flash. Good girl. Thank you. 